It's obviously no secret that COVID changed the way that we work and now so many people have to either work from home or build setups to be able to work remotely at least partially out of the week. I started this desk setup in 2019 right before COVID and it looked drastically different at the time, but I've slowly dialed it in over the years and I have five accessories in this desk setup that actually make a difference. Now obviously a desk setup can be as minimal or exquisite as you want it to be. It could literally just be a laptop or it could be this. All right, so item number one is a desk shelf. This is a bit of an unorthodox pick, but having a desk shelf actually makes a huge difference. Number one, it allows you to organize more, it allows you to hide your cables, it creates a uniform look. For example, in my desk setup, my monitors now appear floating above the desk shelf, which just looks really cool. Now for me, I'm using the Grove Made desk shelf. They are definitely not the cheapest on the market, but I do think that they look great. They're great quality. I've yet to find one that's super cheap that is as equally as good as the Grove Made ones, but there are some out there that you can check and see for yourself. It doesn't really matter which one you get, but a desk shelf can make a huge difference. As far as the Grove Made ones, be careful if you set rubber on them because they can actually damage the coating of the wood. Something about the way that they process the desk shelf does not handle well with rubber, which is fine because you shouldn't be putting rubber on wood anyways. But that was a lesson I had to learn myself and uh, I ended up having to get another one. Overall, I do think desk shelves can make a huge difference and add a nice, unique, uniform look to your desk setup. Number two, I briefly mentioned this in the last one, but monitor mounts. Listen, monitor stands take up space and for the longest time I was using them, but they're clunky and they usually don't look great and they wobble a ton. Adding a monitor mount saves space on your desk. It gives your monitor a floating look, which looks really cool and offers the improved adjustability and ergonomics as well. Personally, for my dual 4K monitors, I'm using the dual monitor mount from Kensington. It offers a comfortable angle when I'm sitting. They're really easy to adjust and it allows my monitors to flow above my Grove Made desk shelf, not only making those ergonomics good, but also providing that clean, uniform look. Moving on to number three, a desk mat. Now this is a big one. A desk mat protects your desk from scratches, from your mouse and keyboard, and can also provide some contrast to your desk setup for visual appeal, depending on your setup. I know a lot of people buy a desk and they wanna just show off the desk, but I think that desk mat adds that contrast that you need and it protects your desk in the long run. I have a rustic wooden desk, so my desk mat also helps provide a smooth surface for my mouse and wrist rest to glide through because essentially there's a lot of grooves on the top of my desk. And again, I'm using another Grove Made product. This is the matte desk pad from Grove Made. I'll throw all of the products that I mentioned in the description below. Now, item number four on my list of must have accessories for your desk setup is really only relevant to those who are working from a laptop or tablet, but that would be a docking station. A docking station allows you to basically plug in your laptop or your tablet and connect multiple devices to it, including your monitors, USB drives, webcams, SD cards, speakers, and much more. Personally, I was using the Kensington SD5600T Thunderbolt 3 dock, but I've recently been trying out the Thunderbolt 4 dock from them. Now the SD5600T does provide more ports and has the upstream port in the back, which is a huge personal preference for me, but the Thunderbolt 4 dock provides better compatibility and speeds and also looks very sleek. Having a dock station is great for people who work from home, but also need to be able to take their work with them on the go, which is why I went with this type of setup instead of a dedicated PC or Mac. I'm always bouncing back and forth, traveling, so I wanted to be able to use my main PC at home in this type of setup, but also on the go. Now, last but probably one of the most important pieces would be the desk itself, and I'm talking specifically a standing desk. Now, since I work from home and I sit a lot, I purchased a standing desk so that I could periodically stand, stretch my legs, get my blood flowing, all that good stuff. Obviously, it's no secret that sitting for extended periods of time is not good for us and not how our bodies were meant to be used. And I love my standing desk because it allows me to alleviate the pressure on my hips and my lower back from working all day. Plus, life hack, you can pair a standing desk with a balance board or a walking pad and incorporate even more healthy movement into your day to day. I get this question all the time, but my specific desk is the reclaimed wood standing desk from Stand Desk, but there's a ton of options out there and it's really all down to your personal preference. All right, so how you design your desk setup is entirely personal preference, but there are a couple of things that can improve your workflow make it look better, and provide some ergonomic and health benefits as well. So I hope this video was able to shed some light on that for you. And as I mentioned before, I'll have links to everything that I mentioned in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe. With that said, I will see you in the next video.